Good day, future lawyers. Today, let us discuss and distinguish two terms in obligations and contracts, particularly action subrogatoria and action paliana. Let's start. Action subrogatoria and action pauliana are remedies available to creditors for the satisfaction of their claims. Action subrogatoria is a remedy where the creditor whose claims had not been fully satisfied may go after the debtors of the defendant debtor. Action pauliana, on the other hand, is a remedy where the creditor files an action in court for the rescission of the acts or contracts entered into by the debtor designed to defraud the former. These remedies are provided for under Article 117, which states that the creditors, after having pursued the property in possession of the debtor to satisfy their claims, may exercise all the rights and bring all the actions of the latter for the same purpose, save those which are inherent in his person. They may also impugn the acts which the debtor may have done to defraud them. As mentioned, action subrogatoria is a remedy to be subrogated to all the debtor's rights and actions except those that are inherent in his person, that is, the right to demand unpaid credit from third persons who owe the debtor and have not paid him yet. The following are the requisites. 1. The person to whom the right of action pertains must be indebted to the creditor. 2. The debt is due and demandable. 3. The creditor must be prejudiced by the failure of the debtor to collect his debts to him from third persons, either through malice or negligence. 4. The debtor's assets are insufficient or the debtor is insolvent. 5. The right of action is not purely personal to the debtor. Note that prior approval of the court is not necessary to exercise action subrogatoria. Now let us discuss action pauliana. In reference to Article 1381, which states, the following contracts are resistible. And number 3. Those undertaken in fraud of creditors when the latter cannot in any other manner collect the claims due them. To illustrate Action Pauliana, in the case of Cheng v. CA, judgment was rendered against Cheng for breach of contract of carriage after an alias writ of execution was issued and despite earnest efforts, the sheriff found no property under the name of Butuan Shipping Lines and or petitioner Ke Hong Cheng to levy or garnish for the satisfaction of the trial court's decision. It was discovered that petitioner Cheng no longer had any property and that he had conveyed the subject properties to his children. Philem filed a complaint for the rescission of the deeds of the nation executed by Petitioner Cheng in favor of his children and for the nullification of their titles, alleging that Petitioner Cheng executed the aforesaid deeds in fraud of his creditors, including Respondent Philem. The Supreme Court ruled in the same case that an action pauliana presupposes the following 1. A judgment. 2. The issuance by the trial court of a writ of execution for the satisfaction of the judgment. And 3. The failure of the sheriff to enforce and satisfy the judgment of the court. It is important to note that an action publishana accrues only when the creditor discovers that he has no other legal remedy for the satisfaction of his claims against the debtor other than action pauliana. The action pauliana is an action of last resort. And we're done. Thank you for watching.